Hello guys, Jack from ZHDX Minecraft is here with a uh, little bit of a blatant video because I have been doing a little secret mod pack for you. This is the Jack Simplicity Pack, uh, even though it's got equivalent exchange on it. So uh, at the end of the video, check it out or like download it right now because it will be on Dropbox by the time I've uploaded this. And so this pack consists of the auto switch out, which is really good for laptops. The base mods you will need, which are Forge and Mod Loader. I mean, like, they already need them. Dokucraft, uh, Optifine to run Dokucraft. Not enough items, which is better than um, too many items, trust me. And Equivalent Exchange 2, which is just literally that. Now, uh, this is an easy enough mod to install and to show you that I'm doing it from fresh. And if you follow me, you will do it right. I'm going to force update. Now, for any of you that uh, worry about the equipment exchange thing, there was a problem where on their website they had um, a problem where they only had 3.3.7. Then I read the error reports and it said it needed 3.3.8. So this is um, a recommended slash development beta build, I guess. But it's been running really smoothly for me, and so I hope it does for you. So, uh, as you can see, my Minecraft is uh, just doing this thing now, and it's loading. So, uh, I'll switch out my texture pack. I've got the three installed, but I'll teach you how to install them. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to drag that to one side, open up a new one, and this is on the other. Now, on Snow Leopard, you just go to Library, Application Support, Minecraft. Now, what you want to do is you want to go to your bin folder, find your Minecraft.jar, right click it, open with I'm using the N archive but you can use the archive utility. The N archiver is a great free tool, I would recommend it. So I'm just gonna open it with that. And then uh there's now the jar you just want to rename this to like one, two, three or something. And then you want to rename this to Minecraft jar. And thank you Liam for showing me this cool thing. Uh, you click on this little cog here, arranged by kind, find made to inch and drag it out. Now you want to go to my pack open up base mods, go to mod loader, command A, command C, command V, and you want to go to forge, and here's where it gets a little bit difficult. It's command A, then keep holding command, and click net and pull code to deselect them. So then you just uh, copy it, paste it in, apply to all, place, and then in minecraft.jar there's also two files called net and pulls code. So open it on uh, Minecraft Forge, go to net Minecraft client, then in your Minecraft.jar go to net Minecraft client, and you just want to copy it in, like so, which is simple. And for pause code, you just go to pause code sound, pause code sound, codex, codex, and you just want to copy it in. Now, um, if I were you guys, you have to, after installing those two mods, reboot your Minecraft because it adds the folders needed to put the other mods in. So, uh, if you don't want any conflictions, just put it in. So, as you can see, in Minecraft, it also uploads FML, which tells you like, what mod you've got installed, which I think is great. Now, uh, the next one you want to do is, so you've got your base mods you're already done. So, if I were you, the next one that you would do is not enough items. Now, you're going to open it up, and you're going to go to Code Chicken Claw, uh, Code Chicken Call Client. And all you're going to do is you're going to just command A, command C, command V, straight into your bin. And then you're going to go into not enough items, and then in the code chicken thing, go into it, and do the same on the minecraft.jar, and then just command A, command C, command V, and then just drag over these, copy them, and paste them in. See, that's easy enough. Now, always remember to try and reboot your Minecraft after installing a new mod because it lets it, you know, it lets Minecraft kind of register it. And as you can see, three mods loaded. You can go into here, tell you what it is. Minecraft um, mod chicken core forge and not enough items. So proof that it's loading, which is good with this FML. And so now we're done with not enough items. Now, next thing you're gonna want to install is probably auto switcher. So this is easy enough. All you do is you just command A, command C, and then you put them all into your Minecraft.jar. Launch the game because uh, you know, sometimes it fails and uh, sometimes. Uh, you know, 
But from what loaded, as you can see, it's all working. Auto switch, So you're going to click back out. Um, then you want to install your final mod for it. Um, you don't have to install Optifine, but if you want to, I'll show you how. So now, to install Equipment Exchange, it is incredibly easy. Back out of your Minecraft jar, back out of your bin, so you're in your Minecraft actual folder. It should have made a few folders, like Forge Mod Loader, Forge Mod Loader, 1, 0, 1, and 2. Then you see you have a mod folder. It's already got Auto Switch in there because it's made it. But now what you want to do, you click your mod, copy it in, and then you want to paste it. Literally, it does not get any stuff in there. I mean, they, it used to be you had to like copy and paste a whole load of stuff in. But now, see, it works perfectly. Five mods loaded, as you can see, um, not enough items. Blah, 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 blah and it is a mod exchange. So, if you want um, custom text packs, uh, or you want to make your own HD text packs, you have to have either Optifine or Minecraft, like, um, the Patcher. But, use Optifine, because um, it lets you do it without having to take all your mods off so you just go into your bin go into your minecraft.jar command a command c command v apply to all place oh i don't know if i'm going to strike that is a pretty good game there so if you ever want to gain some time uh okay you must strike okay so you just want to log in and i will show you how to install text packs if you don't as you can see Gold. Now uh, to install text packs, I haven't put them in yet, but okay, I'll put them in for you guys because what you do is there should be three zips. So you just copy them, paste them into your text packs folder, and it's as simple as that. So uh, guys, this has been Jack from ZHDX Minecrafters. This folder will be on Dropbox. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.